Using green lumber and building construction. This building I put together a year ago here in Arkansas. It's just an outbuilding, a shed. All the uh, structural material, rafters, floor joists, etc. Southern yellow pine cut right off the mill, soaking wet and nailed up with a typical frame and nailer and assembled just as though it were bought lumber. And the moisture content right now, uh, my moisture reader takes it down to zero. I know there's still some moisture in it, but it's easily three or 4% on the wettest spot I can find. Biggest thing I wanted to show you on the batten board siding, you take a 12 inch board, 14 inch board, eight inch, no matter how wide the board, they're all cut exactly one inch thick. If they're put down and secured in the center of the board from the outside in to this nailer, with your growth rings going this way, then the board will naturally want to lay down. Uh, you've got an average of about a half inch shrink rate, no matter how wide the boards are, which is fine. You can see there's a little light sticking through that bat, and which brings me to another point. In an eight foot wall, I just simply used one block between them. The best thing to do would be split the wall up into thirds at least. That way your battens have more to attach and pull down and hold your siding boards. Overall though, I'm tickled to death. Uh, all this was free pine. I took from someone and cut them down and wanted to give them away. And it built a nice little building. Have a good one.